Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to the show. And we're back with another Let's Play. We have a little bit new equipment here, a little bit newer of a setup, a uh, new camera, and a new desk. So this is going to be the first Let's Play in our in our new uh, high-tech setup. Not really that high-tech, but, you know, for me it is. So today we're going to be playing one of my favorite Sega Genesis games, and that is The Castle of Illusions starring Mickey Mouse. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. One of my favorite games. We are going to do normal because there ain't no heroes here. We're not doing hard. That's for sure. Okay. Hopefully everything is recording the way it should be. Um, like I said, we got a new little setup here. Uh, invested a little bit of money in a new camera. Um, Invested some money in a camera a couple years ago and it didn't quite work out. So this one, this one we are keeping a little bit better track of as far as a little bit better research on what, what we got. So anyway. This is uh, an early game that came out on the Sega Genesis. Um, you can kind of tell by the by the art style, um, which I love, uh, all the the early Sega Genesis games kind of had that that darker, more grittier looking uh, graphics. Uh, later on, they kind of got a little bit softer, but love this game, love the style, and it's a really fun game to play. It's not gonna. It's not gonna kill you on how hard it is. Um, and like, obviously we're playing normal, but it's a relatively um, easy game to play um, and enjoyable. You know, it hits that sweet spot to where it's, it's not too hard or not too easy on normal. It doesn't really have an easy mode. Um, I think it has a practice mode and it, it doesn't give you the full game on practice mode, so. It's either normal or hard, and that's it. But like I said, there ain't no heroes here today. We are doing it full on normal mode. Yeah, I like the animation of this game, especially uh, the animations of Mickey. So nice. Just like the way he was designed here. Um, the way he moves and jumps. And this is the one game that you always would see, at least I would always see early on in uh, with the Sega Genesis. Because I, I, I know this is one of the games, I do believe that it was always on the back of the box for um, the Sega Genesis. But like I said, I'm pretty sure this is one of those earlier games. Um, and it's just a great, enjoyable game all around. And, you know, I the 16-bit era had a lot of great Disney games. Um, Aladdin for uh, the Sega Genesis, which was supposed to be my first Let's Play. Guys, I'm still having problems getting through that thing. I thought after practicing for a little bit that uh, I would be pretty good at it. I get so far and then nothing. Then I just can't stop dying. So it is what it is. One day, one day I'm going to surprise you guys. And I'm going to be ready to go on that. But it's not today. What's really cool about this game, too, is it's a lot of the old school uh, Mickey Mouse and Disney characters. Kind of the way they were drawn, you know, before the 90s. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with the way everything was in the 90s. Because that was one of Disney's golden ages right there 
but this is more of the uh, 1950s, um, 1940s kind of kind of look to all the characters, which is really cool. A lot of the bosses in this game are not hard. They definitely have patterns to them, and once you learn the patterns, they become pretty easy. But there's still there's still one that gives me trouble. And if I'm gonna die from any of them, it's gonna be from that one. And I'll I'll let you guys know when we get there, but yeah. go number one is done now maybe I should tell you what we're doing here Mickey uh, is going after Minnie she has been kidnapped by I believe the Wicked Witch and to get to her we have to get all of these gems I think they're like five of them five or six something like that and then and then we get to, to rescue Minnie from the witch at the end. So, it's pretty basic. The, the design of this game is, is a lot like what you'd find in a lot of the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. I mean, um, kind of reminds me of what you'd find in like the 7-Up Spot game where you're really small and all your environments are big kind of like here where you know you're just a mouse and looks like you're in a toy room so really like that always always thought that was pretty neat how they would do that i'm not sh i don't think this game came out on anything else but the sega genesis but i could be wrong on that but I, i'm pretty sure on that at least I've never seen it on anything else, so um, doesn't mean that it didn't come out somewhere else, but I don't think it did. What? I always like to the animations of the characters here, which you got into the 16-bit realm, because characters get a little bit more of a personality, especially um, when they're when they're just standing still and. They kind of have that 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 motion to them, or if you're if you're playing Sonic, and uh, he kind of starts t uh, tapping his foot like he's impatient or whatever. So that was the one big thing, like you know, oh, man, from the graphics to the personalities, it, you know, once you. Went from 8-bit games like, you know, from Nintendo to 16-bit games. And uh, I think the Genesis does that so well. Because that's kind of what the Genesis was known for, is is having the, the attitude and the, the personality. Not to say the Super Nintendo didn't have that too, but I think the Sega Genesis did it better. Now, that's just me. I'm a Sega Genesis fan, so um, I might be a little, a little bit biased. Just a little bit. Man, there we go.
Those are my least favorite enemies here. Those little jack-in-the-boxes. They freak me out. And they're annoying as all heck. Here we go. Oh, no, never mind. That's right. I was thinking we were at the end of this level. Not quite. I used to never use those that flip the screen, but it really does help you out. Because those clowns can be really difficult. And once you kill those clowns that are on that unicycle, that unicycle keeps going. And it'll come back after you. So, um, but if you flip the screen, um, yeah, none of that happens. Here we go. Now we get to the boss. Yeah, like I said, these bosses aren't all that difficult. Once you learn their patterns, they're pretty easy. go second gem and the second boss is done and I don't think we've died yet have we I've almost a couple of times no death run this a couple of times um, but then there's been other times where I die right away, so I have practiced this quite a bit. Um, but uh, I practiced it right before we started recording here, and uh, it was not a no death run. <laughs> not even close.
This right here is my favorite part of the game. I love the background uh, design and I love the music. I don't know what it is, just, just well designed. Ah, oh, come on now. Come on now. And I knew he was coming. Controls are a little slick here. Um, so, gotta be careful. Boom. Here we go. Oh. I always think this is the end. Now it's the boss at the end of this level that sometimes gives me trouble. Either I'm really good at it. Uh-oh. Uh, ah. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to make it. Sometimes I beat him right away. And sometimes he just takes me to task. So you have to wait and see here. And I don't know what it is with him, um, with this boss. He's kind of like a, a merman kind of looking dude. But uh, he's the one. He's the only one that really gives me any issues. Yeah. Wait, we are not doing good here. Okay. And here we go. Ah. There we go. There we go. Ah. Well, I got that. I guess this is a no death run, huh? Oh well. We'll get it. One more time. 
and there we go. I think that's what? The third gem? Maybe there's more than three. Or more than six. I'm trying to remember now. Three, four, five. Nah, I think there's six. I don't know. Yeah, like I said before, I really like the design of these games. hit the, the button kind of wrong on that. I knew as soon as I hit it, I'm like, uh-oh, I'm dead. Here we go. It's not the end of the level, just for whatever reason on this level, um, you can get multiple uh, gemstones. So um, just just one of those things that they, they put in there. Um, and I, I think this is the only level that's like that. I am not worried about getting all the gemstones just because every time I try to, uh, I just end up losing a whole bunch of health there. So we are good to go. There we go. This is the end boss.
It's so random too. It's like you're on bookshelves and then you're in like like some sort of dessert. So, not really sure what the the thought was behind that, but eh, whatever. Doing so hot here. He is doing a pattern that I am not familiar with here. So That might have been the last hit right there. Because we only have one more power. Uh, yes, yes. Ah. Here I was all worried about um, the last uh, boss, and this boss is kicking our butt. done here we are definitely gonna have to get some more lives there we go there we go all right nice not too bad Usually I don't have that much trouble, although there are times. There are times when that, that boss will get me. Um, I don't know. It's just like whatever day. Isn't that weird? Do you ever play a game and some days you go right through it like there's no problem and then other days you just can't seem to get past anything? So, I don't know. I run into those days all the time. Um, there's a game right now that I've been working on. Uh, Fire Shark. Uh, for the Sega Genesis, and I don't know what the deal is, man. Uh, I have been trying to get this game down, and I've never had as much trouble as I am right now. So I've just, I've just taken some time. I had to step away because I'm like, I don't know why I am playing this game so bad. And that was going to be maybe the next Let's Play, but we got to wait and see. Thank you. 
sometimes I'm able to pick up that that power up there, but you really have to like cut it close down there. And if you don't jump soon enough, that purple stuff is acid, or I think it's acid, and doesn't matter how much health you have, it will kill you, no matter if you have full health or what. But so yeah, a lot of times I chicken out on that part, like right here. Nah, I am not dying for one power up. Nope. I always think it's so funny too, like all the early video games, like the, like, well not all of them, but a lot of them, uh, like the final level is always in a castle. Alright, there we go. Not the end of the level, but another gem. And I think we have one more gem to pick up and then we will get the rescue mini, hopefully. I think it's one more. Pretty sure. really think the sound design on this is pretty good. I am going to tell you that uh, because of this level, my least favorite character in this are those bats. Those bats are going to be a huge pain in my butt here in like two seconds. So, if you are playing this game, the first thing you want to get rid of are those bats. If you can get rid of those bats right off the bat, <laughs> no pun intended, but um, if you can get rid of those right away, yeah, see those, ah, uh, yeah, see. There has been a lot of playthroughs on this where I have fallen down all the way back down to the bottom just to have to climb all the way back up and I'm really hoping that this isn't one of them. <laughs> Let's see? Those damn bats! There we go. 
Alright. Now the key with this guy is, as soon as he gets mad, that's when you jump. Got there. Actually, wasn't too bad. Believe this is gonna be it, guys. We are at the end. It was seven. Okay. Six, seven. Eh, tomato, tomato. Here we go. Now, there are a bunch of different locations that she... she will appear in, but... The spot that I want is where she's at right now. That's the spot that I found is the easiest to get her in. So. Just have to be patient and wait for her to, to spawn back in that, that bottom spot. But once she does, it's very easy to, to, to be able to hit her. Um, I'll be honest with you. I've never been able to hit her in any of these other spots. I don't know why. Just seems like that bottom spot's the only spot that I've been able to, to do it, so. So, takes me a little bit longer than maybe other people, but hey, as long as you get there, who cares, right? Look at that, I love that background. I love the background in a lot of these games. it that is it ladies and gentlemen That's it, guys. So, what did you think? It's a pretty straightforward uh, and easier game, but it's one of those games that's not too easy. So, it still stays enjoyable. It doesn't feel like it's it's too easy, and uh, 
It definitely doesn't feel like it's too hard, but another very cute, very well done and put together game uh, for the earlier years of the Sega Genesis. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me play uh, Castle of Illusions starring Mickey Mouse. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed already, please subscribe. All right, guys. Until next time, see you later.